So I just ran to the shelf, granted a brand, this is not a remand, this is a brand new Bosch, uh, 0445-120-238, which comes their fancy little seal on it, just to show that nobody's ever tampered with it. So I'm gonna take this injector, we're gonna bust it out. We will throw it in the stand. We already have the test plan parameters put in. I chose that comes with their wrapping paper so it doesn't get all rusty, just in case it's in moisture. Protected caps, we've got a copper seal, brand new body, brand new everything. I'll pull that copper off, please. Mm -hmm. So a brand spanking new Bosch injector for all the 325 horse trucks. We're gonna run this thing with stock parameters. And then just to show you what like, a Bully Dog GT tuner or an edge box or cantuner.com. We're gonna show you what this stuff actually does. And because I want this to make a lot more sense to you. And remember, quantity burnt is actually what makes horsepower. Uh, smoke, not making horsepower. That's just unburnt fuel, it's wasted. So you have to burn whatever you're shoving in the cylinder and you've only got so much piston compression time before it goes away. So, Skyler, that's the 238 plan? Yep. Select, please. Okay, so our VL, VL is Bosch's acronym for the big end, that's the wide open throttle. 1,700 microseconds at, a, <coughs> excuse me, 160 MPA. So 1,700 injector on time, 160 MPA pressure. All right, so I'll explain what we got. We got an actual CP3 pump here. And the CP3 pump is feeding a rail. It's basically designed like a Ford Power Stroke. It's going to regulate our rail pressure. We've achieved 160 MPA. Our pump RPM is 1,000. We're shooting for 1,700 microseconds, 160 MPA. Currently it's counting 132 mm cube. So it's gonna run We've got five seconds left up there in the top right corner. And then it's gonna go into a return. Okay, so that injector pumped the, uh, the min max for the set point would be 127.9 plus or minus 5.5. So essentially using the, the factory test plan, 127.9 is in the middle of perfect, plus 5.5 is our maximum but subtracting 5.5, so we can basically go from about 133 down to uh, 122, 121 and a half, and that's good. 131 with a return of 17, return of 18. The factory set plan, the factory's test plan is gonna allow us was like 50 mm cube for return, and it's still good. That. Is it like factory higher than Bosch, 50? Bosch is like 76 mm cube from factory Bosch. Wow. So return allowed is 38 mm cube plus 28. Thank you, Matt. Save my bacon again. So this is just the actual test plan right out of a Bosch 205. It's their data. It's not jimmied with. Um, return. Wow. I can't believe that's right. So, I mean, we're clear up to like 40 and change, which is still a good injector. Meaning 40 mm cubed or 40 cc's of fluid can pass through this injector head back to the gas tank. That's not a waste unless you're trying to make optimum horsepower. 
you've only got so much quantity that your CP3 pump can actually contribute. So if you lose a great percentage of that, going back to the gas tank, your CP3 pump is still duty cycling 100%, you're out of pump. Limiting the return is, is going to make an optimum amount of horsepower for each CP3 pump. All right, so stock injector. Now I'm going to enter back into that plan. And just for fun, I'm going to uh, do this again. The, uh, we're going to give this thing 2,400 microseconds, which would be the most that I would really like to see somebody do on and on on any test plan on any tune really. If you watch. 2,200, 2,300, 24, 2,400 microseconds, and we're going to give it some pressure. Stock rail pressure sensor in a 5.9 can read 180. Stock rail pressure sensor in a 5.9. Being able to read 180 doesn't mean I want to shove 180 at it because unfortunately what will happen is as you're hammered down, beating on the gas pedal, you go to chop the gas pedal off. If it's already voltage soaked and it's reading 180, as it overshoots, we can't see that overshoot. You're already at 180. So I'm going to pretend that my program or my tune is 2,400 microseconds at 175 MPa. The reason I'm doing this is because you're wide open throttle, you lift off the gas pedal, and if I see a pressure spike that shoots past 180, I'll know that I've got a pressure spike. Then we have to retune the FCA to dump that fuel off faster and faster and faster so we don't have that over rev. Keep your eyes peeled on the rail pressure, pump RPM, 132, we're desired 175. We overshot it just a little bit. It's gonna settle back down. Once we target it on that, we can start to, it's gotta bleed air out of the system. It needs to make sure that its rail pressure is very stable or else we can't get consistent results. Calculator at. That one, thanks, man. So we. Oh! It's broken now. This one's right, okay. six bucks with a warranty. So we gained. Uh, so we were at 100 and what, 30, 131. 131. And now we're at 189. So 189 minus 131 equals, we just gained 58 mm cubed and we claim that we're able to make how many horsepower? Like three and a half horsepower per mm? Yep. So if we can actually make 3.5 horsepower per mm cubed, we would take 58, which is what we just gained, times that, times 3.5. That's 203 horsepower going to What, what we just did, increasing pressure, increasing pulse width to 2400. Now, I could ask this injector to stay open for more injector on time, and that three and a half number is gonna diminish because as the piston goes up, you're optimizing compression, so the faster you can make the explosion happen at the top to force it down, using all of its compression, the more energy you're actually gonna retain. If we just leave the injector on time, two things happen. We have to continue advancing the timing and creating more cylinder pressure, which is hard on rods, head gaskets, and everything else. And two, as you chase the piston down the hole, you're kind of creating some energy 
but you're creating energy while losing compression, which is the opposite of what any diesel thing wants. So just don't do it. When you buy a tune, when you buy a tuner, be sure you ask them to limit your big tune to 2,400 microseconds if you're driving a street truck. You'll be a lot happier. You can increase the rail pressure if you modify, if you're using custom tuning, ask them, what do you recommend for a rail pressure sensor? I want to buy that. I want to buy that from you. A lot of these tuners have those rail pressure sensors in stock. They can sell you one. They can rescale your tunes, give you some more rail pressure, and then give you a tune that's properly calibrated for it. If you want to make more power than what we just did on a stock injector, buy the proper size injector for the target of horsepower you're trying to achieve. Don't buy something so big that it's gross and under control or out of control. Buy the right size. Skyler, anything else? I think you nailed all the basics right there. Yeah, pretty well. Think so? Yeah. Well, it's quick, it's simple, it's dirty, it's live. There's a lot of action going on. There's lots of stuff going in the background. There's noise. Apologize for that, but wanted to bring out some real life information and let you guys kind of see what we deal with on a daily basis and, and what the process is on why we're doing what it is we're doing to go under your hood to make your truck do something that you actually enjoy. Right on.